Hello everyone welcome back to good learners this is utkarsha and our today's topic is science and technology in today's video we shall study about the progress that india has made in the field of science and technology in the post independence period so let's get started indian atomic energy commission india's first prime minister pandit jawaharlal nehru wanted to nurture a scientific temper and bring about the nation's progress From this perspective he set up the Indian Atomic Energy Commission on 10th August 1948. Dr Homi Baba was appointed as the first chairman of the commission. The objectives of the commission were to produce electricity from atomic energy, increase the yield of food grains and make them last longer, set up the technology for achieving this and develop nanotechnology. In 1956 the Department of Atomic Energy set up Opsara a nuclear reactor functioning on atomic energy in 1969 an atomic power station was set up at tarapur a reactor research center was set up at kalapakkam in tamil nadu to successfully use thorium for generating atomic power the role of reactors is important in developing atomic power factories manufacturing the heavy water needed for the generation of atomic power were set up at vadodara thalcher tutikorin kota etc An institution called Heavy Water Projects was set up to carry out research on manufacturing heavy water within the country. It was later renamed Heavy Water Board. Dhruva Nuclear Reactor In 1985, a completely Indian-made nuclear reactor called Dhruva was started at Trombay near Mumbai. The Dhruva Nuclear Reactor uses uranium as fuel. At this center, 350 radioactive substances are produced. they are used in industry agriculture and medicine nuclear power corporation of india limited this company was set up in 1987 to generate electricity from atomic energy the objective of the company is to master and develop the technology to generate safe cheap now let's move on to nuclear test first nuclear test at pokharan India successfully performed her first nuclear test at Pokharan in Rajasthan on 18th May 1974 in consonance with the policy of using nuclear energy for peaceful purposes and for self sufficiency the reason why india took this decision was china's nuclear capability and pakistan's desperate efforts to acquire nuclear weapons with china's help Dr Homi Setna the chairman of the Indian Atomic Energy Commission and Dr Raja Ramanan director of the Baba Atomic Research Center played a major role in conducting these nuclear test Prime Minister Indira Gandhi took the decision of carrying out a nuclear explosion Pokharan was chosen on the basis of the required criteria for the location of the nuclear test which was it was far away from human settlement and it had no ground water reserves the second nuclear test which was performed on 11th may and it was to prove its nuclear preparedness three tests were done on this day one of them was of the hydrogen bomb prime minister atal bihari vajpayee assured that there were no first use of nuclear weapons by india but the usa imposed economic sanctions on india immediately now let's talk about the missile development prithvi In 1988 India successfully tested the missile Prithvi and in 1989 the missile Agni the entire world took note of India's program of developing nuclear missiles indigenously integrated guided missile development program known as IGMDP was conceived by and carried out under the leadership of Dr APJ Abdul Kalam defense research and development organization undertook the task of building the missiles Prithvi 1 a surface to surface ballistic missile was given to the army Prithvi 2 was given to the air force while Prithvi 3 was given to the navy Prithvi had the capacity to carry nuclear weapons of 500 to 1000 kg Prithvi could travel a distance of 150 to 300 km due, due to the nuclear ballistic missile Agni In order that China and Pakistan get an idea of India's missile strength and India's borders remain secure Agni 1 was tested. This military missile had a range of 700 km. Later Agni 2 and Agni 3 were also produced. The Akash and Nag missiles. 
In 1990, the missile Akash was developed to fire from land into air. This missile has a capacity to carry 720 kg explosives at supersonic speed and a range of 30 km. The missile Nag was made in order to destroy the tanks of the enemy. It is of the fire and forget type. India has militarily become secure due to the production of missiles. Space research. In 1961, Indian National Committee for Space Research (NCSR) launched India's first research rocket from Thumba Equatorial Launch Center in Thumba in the state of Kerala. In 1969, our indigenously built rocket Rohini 75 was successfully launched. The next stage was the successful launch of the first Indian satellite Aryabhatta in 1975 with help from the Soviet Russia. This success proved that Indian scientist can indigenously build and launch a satellite. Indian scientist were confident that they could acquire the technology for sending a message from the earth station and to assess the working of the satellite. Indian Space Research Organization known as ISRO After the success of the basic program in space research and rocket related project Indian Space Research Organization was established on 15th August 1969 in order to carry out further space research The headquarters of ISRO are at Bengaluru ISRO activated the space station at Sriharikota in Andhra Pradesh for launching our satellites in space Bhaskar 1 India launched remote sensing experimental satellite Bhaskar 1 from the Soviet Russia in 1979 in order to observe various things on the surface of the earth by remote sensing technology This remote sensing technology would be useful for India's development by regarding water bodies mineral deposits and forecasting weather The photographs taken with the help of this technology about the bowels of the earth environment and forest were important another area in which the Im- information from this satellite was useful was oceanography in 1981 bhaskar 2 was launched from soviet russia apple known as arian passenger payload experiment the first completely indigenously built satellite by isro in india Apple was launched on 19th June 1981 from the French Guiana. Apple was beneficial in the field of education. The objective of providing emergency telecommunication services was useful. The Indian National Satellite known as Insat. In August 1983, the satellite Insat 1B was launched in space. Because of this satellite, a major revolution came about in the areas of telecommunication. television radio weather forecasting and space research in india due to insat 207 akashwani or radio stations could be connected to each other this mechanism was also useful for search and rescue of people caught in some disaster like a shipwreck or an airplane crash for forecasting weather to look for and follow cyclones or storms in the fields of telemedicine and educational institution The telemedicine service enabled the population from remote areas to get advice and treatment from expert doctors. Public primary health centers in villages have been conducted with super specialty hospitals through Insat. Technological progress. A factory manufacturing railway engines known as Chittaranjan Locomotive Works was set up at Chittaranjan in Bardwan district in West Bengal. steam engines electric engines and engines running on diesel were manufactured here the first diesel engine was manufactured at the diesel locomotive works at varanasi india started exporting railway engines to sri lanka bangladesh tanzania and vietnam telex service the department of telecommunications under the ministry of communications started the telex service in 1963 to transmit type messages from one part of the country to another rapidly in 1969 the telex service started in devanagari script in delhi later it spread all over the country this service began to be used in different fields with the rise of internet after 1990 the significance of this service reduced the satellite communication center 
in order to establish satellite communication with the help of an artificial satellite a domestic satellite communication earth station was established in 1967 at jodhpur tekra near ahmedabad this made it easy to train scientists and technicians in setting up and running an earth station within the country in 1970 a center was established at R- rv near pune equipped for international telecommunication service pin code from 15th august 1972 the post and telegraph department started the six digit pin code system in the country the postal index code is intended to bring efficiency in disturbing the mail in this system the country was divided into nine regions the first digit of the pin code indicates the region the second digit indicates the sub region and the third digit shows the main disbursement district while the remaining three digits shows the location of the local post office for maharashtra 40 41 42 43 44 are the first two digits in 1986 the speed post service was started to send postage rapidly international subscriber dialing telephone service known as isd In 1972 overseas communication service was established in Mumbai for the management of international communication service. In 1976 the international subscriber dial telephone service was started to connect Mumbai and London directly on phone. Alongside the telephone service services like telex, teleprinter and radio images were started. In 1986 Videsh Sanchar Nigam Limited VSNL took a big leap in this field. Before that Mahanagar Telephone Nigam Limited MTNL was a public sector company for giving telephone service in big cities In 1990s Videsh Sanchar Nigam Limited held the distinction of being the main internet service provider in India The contribution of Sam Petroda in this field is significant Mobile On 22nd August 1994 the mobile phone service started in India At this time a mobile handset cost rupees 45000 and calling was at rupees 17 per minute by 1990 many private companies came in in this field this made the service cheaper the bharat sanchar nigam limited known as bsnl in 2000 the telecommunication department was restructured the responsibility to make policy decisions was retained with the telecom department and bharat sanchar nigam limited was established to actually provide the services to consumers along with the telephone service cellular phone internet broadband services were also made available oil and natural gas commission known as ongc In 1956 the Oil and Natural Gas Commission was established to search for the deposits of mineral oil and natural gas and to increase their production. After dig boy in Assam mineral oil deposits were found in Ankleshwar area in Gujarat. Later mineral oil and natural gas deposits were found in the Gulf of Khambat in Gujarat. In 1974 the Oil and Natural Gas Commission started digging an oil well in Mumbai High. area with the help of russian scientist by a drill ship called sagar samrat from 1975 mineral oil and natural gas began to be extracted from there later more than 8500 oil wells and 33 natural gas wells dug eventually in this area began to contribute 38% of the total mineral oil production in the country and met 14% of the country's demand for crude oil Now let's move on to the last topic of this chapter which is railways and technology. The technology adopted by railways has a big role in the history of modern India. In order to bring efficiency, accuracy and coordination in the reservation system in rail travel, computerized reservation system was started for the first time in Delhi in 1984. In the same year the metro was started in Kolkata. So guys in this chapter we saw how India has been making progress in the fields of science and technology and how new inventions have been made India is an important 21st century nation which has always used technology for establishing peace in the world and is making all these advancements in order to be the foremost among nations 
सो गाइज दैट्स इट फॉर टुडे इफ यू लाइक अर वीडियोज प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक शेयर कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू